You make me feel so unreal. You make me feel so unreal. I love Elsa. We can be so Hi guys, welcome to Mom and Me. It's a cold winter Saturday morning, and as you can see, it's very foggy outside. So chai to banti hai. So let me make a hot cup of adrak wali chai. As sardiyo me garam chai ka to maza hai kuch aur hai, isn't it? I like to add adrak and elaichi, which is ginger and cardamom, to my chai, and I boil it for eight to ten minutes and make it kadak before serving it. If it's cold weather, I personally do not like to eat anything cold, avocado toast especially. But kids wanted to eat it, so here I go. I'm making it. But for my husband and I, poha is the best Saturday breakfast. It's like a no-brainer breakfast. Saturday ko to poha hi banta hai. Who else is in this Saturday poha gang? Do let me know in the comment section below. So after breakfast, kids are off to their football with daddy, and I will prep for lunch meanwhile. And today I'm making pav bhaji. I usually pressure cook the veggies, but today I decided to cook the veggies in a pan, and see if there is any difference in the taste. So to the heated skillet, I have added oil, zira or cumin seeds, Kashmiri red chilli, and pav bhaji masala. And added three roughly chopped tomatoes. Saute for few minutes, then add vegetables of your choice. I'm adding four potatoes, a quarter of cauliflower, and few peas. You only need very little cauliflower and only half cup green peas. I will saute the veggies for a minute, then add hot water, around three to four cups. Then simmer the gas and let the veggies boil in this low heat for next thirty minutes, stirring it occasionally.
once the veggies are soft mash it with the potato masher so while veggies are boiling i will make the gravy for pav bhaji for which i have heated a pan added 3 tablespoons of oil added cumin seeds crushed ginger garlic paste and two medium onions finely chopped today i do not have capsicum so excluding it from the recipe instead adding little cabbage which usually i do not use using it today as i have it on hand once the onion is translucent i will add the spices just the basic spices cumin coriander red chili powder pav bhaji masala of course in pav bhaji and salt to taste and add this gravy to the mashed and boiled vegetables This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true, no matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Next, I will roast some pao and serve hot with bhaji. Will I cry? Will I leave behind? Broken and crumbled signs Hiding all my roads to you In afternoon, it's kids' routine to watch a Disney or Pixar movie on Saturdays. And I always make it fun for them. Sometimes I give them chips to eat when watching movie. Sometimes it's popcorn and today I'm making strawberry chocolate for them. But they cannot be served in bed while watching the movie. But once they are done with the movie, they will have it in the kitchen. I personally love chocolate strawberries and chocolate mangoes too. Have you ever tried chocolate mangoes? I will share how I make them when mangoes are in season. Right now we are in the middle of winter so no availability of mangoes except in the frozen section but I really don't like them. Have you tried them and is there any particular brand if you're in Australia that you would recommend for mangoes from the frozen section? Do let me know. And I've been falling, I've been lost And I've been calling on my ghosts I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home Oh And I've been carried, I've been dragged And I've been lucky, torn and sad I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home. I am done. I will stay to find every hidden sign. Taking all my roads to you. Uh oh. And I will fight. I will come. For all your lights, giving my light back to you. Uh oh. This week I took a break from the gym as I just wanted to take it easy, as so many things are going on in my life. I've been busy with my son's school admission and I just submitted the application yesterday, now feeling relieved with one less thing to do. My little boy will start school next year. Wow, that's unbelievable. We all still treat him just like a little baby at home. Even my daughter Dhyani. 
uh, who is only two years older than him but still he is a little baby brother and not baby brother <laughs> little baby kid but he is a big boy now and it's such a special and proud moment for all of us that my little one is starting school soon so 2023 is the year when kushank will start kindy also taking a break from the gym because sometimes just taking it easy and slowly does so much for your physical and mental health personally i am in rush all the time from getting up in the mornings to packing lunch school drop-offs gym groceries house chores and in all this i don't even realize when the time flew and it's already time to pick the kids up but this week i have decided i will do what i can and though i am doing everything else except the gym but i feel i have so much time to myself and i can actually slow down have you ever observed doing household chores while listening to your favorite music is another level of happiness do let me know if you to do chores listening to your favorite playlist i put it to rest because i'm coming home coming home i am done i will stay to find every hidden sign taking all my roads to you uh oh and i will fight i will come to life calling for all your lights giving my light back to you because i'm coming home coming home oh and i've been carried i've been dragged and i've been lucky torn and sad i put it to rest because i'm coming home coming home i'm coming home I'm coming home, coming home. Oh, because I'm coming home, coming home. I am coming home. As I said earlier, time flew and it's time to pick the kids up. Today when I shopped the groceries, I received Fixens. If you're in Australia, you shop in Woolworths, you know what I'm talking about. So basically, you receive one Fixem sticker on every $36 you spend on groceries from Woolworths supermarket. And these stickers are what every kid is craving for these days as they have Disney, Pixar, Marvel and Star Wars favorite characters that kids love. And my daughter is after Elsa since these stickers are out. I washed and kept some berries for them on the platform and usually they would run for it but today hang on it's fixems first snacks later Dad wants Okay fine but I don't want to What is it Nice Where is that silly Elsa got And some they came Ooh What is this Hey Wow Wait a minute what is that Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Ah, I got the same one. Oh, star! I got Elsa. Please. Mama, look. Mama, look. Wow, what is this? I don't know. Raya. Oh, you got the same like me. I will get two. I'm going for me one for you. 
What is that, Danny? Show me. Wow. Which one is it? Buzz. Wow, that's so cute. Just like you. For dinner, I will be making Ormu for kids and masala pav for my husband and myself. As yesterday, my husband complained that the bhaji pav was very bland. So I wanted to make it spicier masala dal for him today. So I've kept the cooker for Ormu, which is sweet lapsi. I have added uh, jaggery and cardamom seeds in it. And on the side, I will make masala pav from leftover bhaji. Of all the magic places in the world, I've been to this is where so you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you Been walking down the street so many times my feet know every breaking stone could wear a blindfold no matter what I do I'm coming home to you And I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why I'm always feeling Yesterday I did not have capsicums but today I do as of course I did groceries. So I will be first sauteing the onions then add capsicum and add heaps of masalas to make it masala. So for the masalas I have made this masala mix which has red chilli powder, pav bhaji masala, cumin coriander uh, powder and a little garam masala. I hope my husband likes it now as my home is smelling like honest pav bhaji right now. And actually this looks deliciously hot and I'm sure my kids won't be able to handle it. I will stuff it in the pow, grate some cheese and mouth watery masala pow is ready. My husband is not yet home from the office but this one's for me and my daughter seemed to be interested in it. I offered her a quarter. I knew she wouldn't be able to handle it but guess what? She asked for another quarter. Like literally? <laughs> wow, this girl can handle heat. But not my son. He copied Didi and tasted a bite and ran for water. Calling for all your light. Giving all my heart to you. Uh oh. And I've been falling, I've been lost. And I've been calling on my ghosts I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home Oh And I've been carried, I've been dragged And I've been lucky, torn inside I put it to rest because so guys, now coming to the good news, big news, special news that I am not pregnant as some of you guys guessed. But we are soon visiting India and we are super duper excited for it. There's still 10 weeks which uh, for some would be a lot but really 10 weeks we have so many things to do in those 10 weeks that we think time is flying. But I cannot contain my happiness as we will be seeing our family after three long years. Oh my god, I almost forgot how do they look. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm super duper excited and I wanted to share this news with you all that we will be going to India in October in Diwali. We will be celebrating Diwali with our family. Bale, bale. <laughs> I have been lately busy applying for Kushang's passport renewal as we will be staying in India for a good long three months and his passport needs to be renewed for us for his return trip. So took him to the Indian Passport Seva Kendra in Sydney. Well, actually it's not called Indian Passport Seva Kendra, it's called BFS Global. 
but anyways uh, i took him there and his passport is in the process of renewal we'll be expecting it soon and then we are ready for traveling so guys you will get to see our family my side of family my in-laws family and also so many amazing new things happening as my in-laws will be moving to a new apartment soon and kids have semi designed their own room because they were very clear what they want what they do not want in the room so so many interesting things is going to happen on mom and me vlogs so guys please subscribe and turn the notification and some of you guys have been uh, saying that you guys are not receiving the notifications so maybe try turning it off and on again and hopefully fingers crossed it should work i will sign up now and i will see you in my next video bye for now